Now, this next little video is going to talk about documentary photography. There's basically two different types. There's the classic or confrontational style of documentation where the camera little, literally confronts the subject in their environment. And then there's participatory where the photographer observes what's going on while the action takes place. Literally kind of fly on the wall, if you will. There's a distinctive difference between the two and how the two communicate. Take a look at these differences in this following short video, and I hope you'll begin to see the differences between straight photography, which we've already talked about, and the documentarian who tries to tell someone else's story through his photographs. Since the beginning of photography, even in the days of daguerreotype, photography was used as a device to document reality. As our current Western society progressed, so did advances and expressions of that progress through the lens of the documentarians. From the 1849 gold rush to the Civil War to the child labor issues of the early 20th century, documenting spectacular events, the Great Depression, World War II, and even the old 3D movies of the 50s all were documented throughout the years. Today is no different. Photography records the current moments that will pass quickly into history. Inside documentary photography, there are two distinct styles, classic and the other what I like to call participatory. Classic looks simple, but it really has a much deeper intent. The subject is stopped in their action and recorded in their environment in such a way as to reveal something much deeper about the person. Diane Arbus, Walker Evans, and others are masters of this technique. It freezes the subject, location, time, and expression, inviting the reader to investigate the visual image more closely. The other is participatory documentation. This is where the photographer actively shares in the experience. He or she is not directing, but just being a voyeur or watching and recording the events as they take place. Alfred Stiglitz could have been considered one of these as are many of the photographers who work for National Geographic and other publications. The photographer is there bringing you the viewer into another's world for just a brief moment. Whatever the style, classic, where the subject gazes back at you in a stark confrontation, or you are a witness to a factual event, the lens of the documentary photographer should place you at the scene with an authentic and unaltered expression of visual facts.